Happy worship on Wednesday, friends. Pastor Kathy here uh, from our sanctuary, uh, sitting in one of my favorite spots in our in our sacred space here in the choir loft. Um, I wanted to bring with you a message today. Um, I was on a clergy call this morning, and it feels like a lot of us are just weary and tired. Uh, we hear of church members having COVID, not that I've heard anyone here have COVID, but we hear of community members uh, getting sick. We hear of people balking at a mask mandate, and it's a struggle. It's tiring, and we hear of traditions that we're missing in our sacred space, and I wanted to read to you from Jeremiah 29 and specifically verse 11 Um, but this is a this is a passage about surviving an exile surviving in a time when you are separated from what you know from a quote normal life these are words of hope from the prophet Jeremiah Actually, the letter um, starts off with, so this is portions from Jeremiah 29, uh, reading from our NIV version here. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says to all those I carried into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and settle down. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Marry and have sons and daughters. Find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters. Increase in number there, do not decrease. Also, (laughs) seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which I have carried you into exile. Pray to the Lord for it, because if it prospers, you too will prosper. Verse uh, 2911, which is one that I think we all know. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. The rest of that part goes here. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. Friends, some good news today. We don't have an end in sight yet for this health crisis and slowly things are returning to normal, but they look very, very different. I know this Sunday uh, we're bringing worship to you from this space live, and it'll just be three of us, uh, Deb, myself, and Nick, and it'll look different. Masks, uh, spaced apart, no liturgist, but I will tell you in this time of exile, I have a renewed sense of my faith. I have a renewed sense in my hope in the one who does call us home, in the one who provides for us, in the one who hears my cries, hears the weariness in my voice and carries me to the next day or the next moment. I have a renewed promise that God's, that God's will will be done, that God's providence is at work. Providence is not the same thing as plan. Um, plan, you know, I, I hear that word a lot. I go, well, it's all in God's plan. No, it's not. God would not cause harm, cause injustice. But God's providence, God's wisdom is at work, bringing us to a new life. Friends, let's pray. Living and loving God, what an honor it is to be a part of your family, your church. God, we love you, and we ask just to be with us now. Surround us with your grace and help us to make it through to a new day when you call us all back together. Help us to trust your providence in all that we do and say.
Amen. Amen. See you Sunday, 10 a.m. on our YouTube channel here on our website. Um, and uh, yeah, and we'll be live. So check your email Friday and Sunday um, for the very latest. See you then.